Rewards programs are a common thing these days. Some of these programs can save you money, while others aren't so great. So based on our research, we've got a list of the absolute best and worst rewards programs out there. So let's start with what we think is the worst rewards program. Chipotle. I'm a Chipotle fan myself, but I'm not exactly a fan of their rewards program. You earn 10 points for every dollar that you spend, which sounds pretty great, but the reality is quite disappointing. To get a little bag of chips and salsa, you need a total of 425 points, which means you need to spend $42.50 for something that costs $2.15. Aye, aye, aye. Next up, we've got Subway. For every $2 you spend, you get four tokens. Now brace yourself for the grand reward. After collecting a whopping 200 tokens, you get a glorious $2. Not exactly the best deal out there. Then we have Old Navy, Banana Republic, and Cap. These three retailers here are all part of the same family. You earn one point for every dollar you spend. And after accumulating 100 points, which means you spend $100, you get a grand total of $1. Not too sure what the point of the rewards program is, but let's hope that they step it up to make it a little bit more exciting for their loyal customers. After giving you a little bit of insight about the worst programs out there, now it's time to give you what you want, which is the best reward program. One of which will be Papa John's Pizza. Let me introduce to you Papa Rewards. Every dollar that you spend in store or online will get you one point. Once you hit 75 points, you get $10 in Papa Dough to spend on anything that you want. Another rewards program that you should know about is Southwest Airlines. Every time you pay for a flight with cash, gift cards, vouchers, or anything except points, you're gonna earn extra points. You can redeem those points for gift cards, merchandises, car rentals, hotel stays, international flights, and so much more. But wait, check out this awesome hack we found. If the price of your flight drops after you booked it, you can still rebook the exact same flight and still earn points which will be credited into your rewards account. Then there is Starbucks. Every one dollar you spend will earn you one star. Earn about 150 stars and you can indulge in an extravagant drink of your choice. It can be something like a venti, no whip, half-calf, white chocolate mocha. But hey, if you're not into fancy over-the-top drinks, just get yourself a regular old brew coffee and just help yourself with all the add-ins. And guess what? It will just cost you 50 stars instead of the usual 150 stars. Hope you've learned a little bit more about these rewards programs through these examples and have a better idea of what's worth it. Fire seekers can leverage on these programs to earn additional savings on your everyday expenses if you do your research right.